Hey there everybody, it's Dave here and today we're going to be ripping a little bit of 2022 Ultra Modern Baseball Retail. This was actually a birthday gift for me from my aunts. Actually, they're my aunts, uh, my wife's aunts technically, but they uh, got me this uh, really nice gift and uh, they're some of my biggest supporters in the whole world. So uh, thank you to them. Uh, my aunts, Ann and Kathy, love you both very much. You know what, in fact, before we rip this, why don't you go ahead and take a minute to say thank you to your... Uh, to your loved ones out there. I'll just wait one second. See how easy that was? Okay. Thank you for the support as always. And uh, if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. All right, let's get right into it. I'm gonna save one of these hangers for later. Have an idea for a video with that one. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and rip into the rest of these products here. So uh, 2022 Series 1 Baseball. You know who we're looking for in here, Juan DeFranco. A little bit of a thinner rookie class than Series 2 and certainly more than uh, Update, which just came out this week. I'm hoping that I'll be able to have some of that for the channel. But still, you know, Series 1, as much as it was printed pretty heavily, it's still a fun rip as far as I'm concerned. In fact, while I'm at it, why don't I go ahead and open up this box as well. You've probably seen a bunch of Series 1 opened up, but I'm especially excited for is the five cello packs of 2022 Bowman. But any day that you get to rip open some sealed wax is a good day. I know a lot of people like to complain in the hobby about, oh, this product is not so great. This product is really great. A lot of times that's really subjective and it depends entirely on what they pull specifically. And of course there are good products and not so good products, but you know what? I enjoy it all. You gotta have fun with it, guys. All right, so we have our first hanger pack here. We'll rip this open. Again, looking for Wander Franco rookies. Hopefully a parallel, that would be pretty amazing. Even though his hobby stock has fallen a little bit, still the guy that you wanna pull from here. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on the base, but obviously I'll give you a quick look at some of the players you got here. So there's Wander Franco. That's not the Wander Franco base rookie, obviously, but him and Vlad in the same card. So create a couple of piles here as we go. Actually, I'm going to pull aside any base rookies I find. So just going to quickly go through this. Okay. Uh, and <clears throat> try to keep the cards the right way as we go. Chaz McCormick playing in the World Series. By the way, who do you have for the World Series out there? I want to know not only who you think is going to win, but who you're going to be rooting for. I'll put aside this Shane McClanahan, uh, Cy Young favorite. Who are you going to be rooting for? Who do you think is going to win it? You know, I think uh, the Phillies had such a great run. Hey, that guy was a big part of it. The Phillies had such a great run in the postseason. It's funny that all that talk was about the Braves and the Mets, and then who was there in the end? Well, you know who's there in the end, the Phillies, as it turns out. Maybe it's been a while. I haven't seen a lot of Series 1 ripped lately, but I think I know who's right behind this guy. There he is, Wander Franco. I'm just going to soft sleeve that. I'm not going to put it in a top loader but that is the top rookie that you want to pull from this product as much as it is pretty heavily printed always nice to see a great base rookie like that and i'll keep my rookie pile going all right i think we have a gold in here which will be numbered to 2022 we'll see as we get a little bit cool i'll take a little peek actually nope that's the 87 never mind it is not a gold but who do we have trey mancini I'll do a little pile for the inserts as well, just so we can keep track of what we got. Byron Buxton, Javier Baez. Of course, these come in the Chrome versions too, so you want to look at that carefully. The Chrome versions are a little bit rarer. Joey Gallo, Alex, Alex Kirilov, who didn't really uh, pop that much uh, last year. That is a base, isn't it? Let me just make sure. I thought I saw some extra rings on that. Okay. Not numbered. And then we'll just have the base cards from here on out. But like I said, I always like to put aside the rookies. You never know who's going to, you know, take a dramatic step forward in their uh, first, second, third year, that kind of thing. Eli Morgan had a nice start to the year. So it's always good to put them aside. That's just my opinion, even if it is a base. And I know, you know base cards are not quite as popular as they uh, were in years past in the hobby. But always better to be sure. <clears throat> and then if you put them aside, they're they're just easier to find. If you sort them by year, I think that's generally the way to go. And you can find uh, the rookies later on. 
Kyle Schwarber, I wish he was still a member of the Red Sox. Would have been a different season, I think, if he had stuck around. Obviously, he's playing in the World Series. He's used to that stage. And a Jazz Chisholm second-year card. I'll put that aside, too. All right, so let's get into the second pack. Nothing crazy there. As you probably know, it's pretty hard to pull the rainbow foils and gold parallels in here. In fact, I'll show you the odds really, really quickly. You can see the base card parallels gold. Uh, royal blue so you get a rainbow foil one every two hanger boxes royal blue one every three and a gold one out of eight the gold is the best of the uh, more common parallels because obviously it's numbered um, that's a desirable rookie card to get after we'll see if we get one we should at least on average have a rainbow foil in this one though you know it, it is definitely the odds have gotten tougher and tougher over the years i'm not telling you something you don't already know Take a quick peek. I don't think I see a rainbow foil. I think we just see inserts in there. But we'll take a look. Aaron Judge, the new American League home run champion. And I'll just kind of, I'll try to sort these a little bit faster. I know that this is not uh, necessarily everybody's favorite product to see ripped after seeing so much of it earlier in the year. There's Lad Guerrero, one of my PC guys. And some of the same coalition here. So we could end up with a second Wander. Um, although, yep, we could. So we have Bryce again. And let's see if we end up with the same. I don't know. Uh, now it looks a little different. I'm guessing he's not going to be in here. Although there's your mean Mercedes. So there is a chance. Let's see. Buster Posey, final year card. Uh, nope. No wander, at least in that part of the hanger box. There's Juan Soto. I'll put him aside. Kind of a weird year for Juan Soto. Fernando Tatis, Mike Trout, and there's a Shohei Otani. So, hey, that's not a bad insert to get. Shohei Otani, 2021 Greatest Hits. And it doesn't look like we got anything crazy in this. This is one of my favorite base images from Series 1. How awesome a picture is that of Tony Kemp? Probably should have been a Stadium Club card. I don't know if he'll make that checklist, but definitely has that kind of a vibe to it. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I know I said I would flip through these a little faster. You know, I'm actually kind of a slow ripper, naturally, guys. You know, I, I tend to read a lot of the cards and take my time. Brandon Marsh, he's uh, had a nice little uh, postseason as well. Um, I do tend to take my time when I'm going through the cards, and I, I try to go a little bit faster for you on the channel. Eduardo Rodriguez. Okay, so unfortunately, we did not hit any parallels out of those. But, you know, that's how Series 1 can be. I'm just going to quickly straighten this up a little bit. Um, I'll actually put this wonder back over here. All right, so we did get a lot of base rookies, that kind of thing. We have our inserts, and then these are just sort of uh, PC stars and things like that. Okay, but this is what I'm particularly excited about. 2022 Bowman, I think, is a great product. Haven't ripped any on the channel yet, but uh, I did rip quite a few blasters of this. Uh, in the last few months. Uh, these are cello packs here, so um, we'll see what we get out of here. Uh, obviously, uh, a lot of great prospect firsts in here, including James Wood, uh, Jackson Churio, and who am I forgetting? Curtis Mead is in there too. You can pull Wander rookies, and you can pull O'Neill Cruz rookies. You can see a bunch of the rookies right here, and there's the Wander rookie. I think that's actually the first Wander Franco rookie that I've pulled out of Bowman. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in the sloth sleeve too. Now these paper rookies are super common. They're not hard to find, but you know, I am trying to get as many of those Wander uh, base rookies as I can for my collection. Uh, all right. So we're through the veteran cards here. We'll go into the prospects. Adley Rushman's a nice little prospect. I will, well, not so much a prospect anymore, uh, but I'll put that one aside. Alan Serta, uh, not, a, not a bad prospect. I'll create a new pile for the firsts over here. Sorry, this is getting a little sloppy. My apologies. All right, Denzer Guzman, Aurelvis Martinez, I think had some of uh, one of the highest home run totals in the minors this year. And wow, talk about some uh, not so great centering on this one. A little thick on the bottom, Malcolm Nunez, but that's okay. That happens sometimes. All right, let's get into pack number two. That's always something you want to keep in mind when you're looking at your prospect cards. And I do want to, down the road, create a video on how to evaluate your cards for grading submission. 
And uh, I will probably do that sometime in the next few weeks because I am going to be preparing a grading submission in the next few weeks. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Uh, I've had a pretty good amount of success when it comes to grading uh, cards in the past. Nothing crazy, but uh, 10 out of 12 gems. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't grade hundreds of cards like, uh, like some other people do. Uh, all the power to them. I just uh, can't afford that or don't want to afford it. One of the two. And, um, you know, but if you grade a bunch of cards, that's good for you. At least I have a pretty solid gem rate. So we'll uh, create a video and hopefully that'll be helpful to you. All right, here we go into the prospects. Uh, Jason Dominguez, another guy that still sells pretty well. Jordan Lawler, one of the top prospects in baseball. Not a first, but that's okay. Where's Mark Quintana? And we've got a Chrome first. And then CJ Abrams was a top 10 prospect as well. Uh, I'll just put the Chrome first in that pile as well. So no parallels yet. They can be a little tough to pull. I'll show you the odds quickly. Sky blue, one out of 178. Neon green, one out of... Uh, wait, are these... Oh, those are the base card parallels. My fault. Where are they here? Well, you know what? You can pause the video and look it up yourself because... Uh, it's never easy to find these things on the fly. They can be a little tricky to pull parallels out of here, but it can be done. You can also pull autos, and uh, I'll take uh, I'll take both. If uh, if I can speak it into existence, then we'll see if we can make that happen. Juan Soto, I'll put him aside. Marcus Simeon, sneaky good year for the Rangers after a really, really slow start. I think he was even in the MVP discussion by year end. Uh, where's my rookie pile? Uh, Seth Beer, Brandon Marsh, and we should have our prospects coming up in just a minute. All right, Blaze Jordan, one of the top Red Sox prospects. We have another first here. All right, uh, Fidel Montero, and another C.J. Abrams. We got two of that C.J. Abrams, so go figure. Okay, two more packs of this. Thank you for taking the time to uh, rip with me here, guys. Definitely appreciate it. Hope you enjoy these. I like the name of the guy that I saw in the back there, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um Hope you enjoy uh, watching some product get ripped. I always enjoy it. And we do have a parallel in here. You can kind of see it. That's going to be one of the blue border parallels, I believe. Should be a paper parallel, I think. Yes, it's going to be a paper parallel. And the condition on those can sometimes be a little sketchy. But we'll see how we do this time around. Uh, where am I putting? I'm getting my piles mixed up. That always happens. Okay. Here we go. Josh Donaldson. Jared Kelnick. That's a second-year card for Kelnick. Garrett Cole, Jose Barrero, Freddie Freeman. This is not our parallel. It's going to be an insert. Virtu virtuosic Vibrations. Uh, we'll put that with our parallels over here. Harry Ford, top prospect. Anthony Rodriguez. And here's our parallel. Let's see what we're going to get here. Obviously, you can pull some pretty good ones. All right. It's upside down. Let's see who we have. It is a first, and it's a Met. And it's Robert Dominguez. Okay, well, hey, we got a first parallel out of that pack. So that's uh, officially a good pack. Let's leave him up. And this one is going to go in a top loader. You always want to protect your Bowman firsts, especially when they are parallels. And the paper ones are pretty condition sensitive. So they won't all be gems coming out of the pack. We'll take a quick look. You always want to take a look at the corners, especially with these. Yeah, maybe a little ding down there. I'm trying to get the focus right for you. Maybe a little bit of an edging issue there. Yeah, but you know what? Overall, not bad condition for that one. So, like I said, we got a uh, a parallel out of there, and that's nice. And then the name that I saw in the back here, we have one chrome first, and here's another. Ellie De La Cruz, which is probably the best chrome first that you can pull out of here. These cards go... For a few dollars a pop, uh, Ellie De La Cruz is... What is he listed at? 6'7"? 6'2". Oh, okay. I thought he was a little taller than that. But just absolutely uh, raking. Reminds me a lot of O'Neill Cruz, really. Just a lot of power, a lot of potential out of Ellie De La Cruz. Uh, I believe he's the top prospect in the Cincinnati organization. So that is one player that when you see his chrome first, you want to sleeve that up. Sorry for the glare down here. All right, and we got our last pack here. Thank you again for tuning in. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic going with this. So, <laughs> so look what we see here on the back. This is the um, security uh, tag. And there was a theory when this product came out that when you have a security tag in the cello pack, that means that there's a good card in here. I don't believe that theory, but that was the theory. But you know what? Let's, let's go ahead and take a quick peek and see if we see anything. 
Uh, nothing off. I think that's, and that's an insert. So I don't think we're going to get anything crazy out of here. Um, but we'll see. This is why we're here. We're checking it out, right? Uh, Shohei Otani, uh, Joey Guy, uh, Gallo ended with the Mets here. All right. Let's see. Jeter Downs, number 20. It's hard to believe he was the number 28 prospect at any point because he fell off quite a bit with the Red Sox this year. Did get some time in the majors though. Dario Lopez had a pretty decent year. Luis Verdugo, Austin Martin, not so great a year. Masao Gonzalez and Henry Mendez. So we did get two chrome firsts on that last one, but that is it. So uh, that was it. We did get a couple of good cards, but I did say in the title, this is a giveaway. And I'm excited to say that what I'm going to do with this giveaway, it's going to be a little bit of a running giveaway. So here's how it's going to work. The password, I want you to comment well, first, I want you to subscribe to the channel and like the video and then drop a comment below. And the comment that I want you to leave is ultra. And the reason why you're going to leave the comment ultra is because I'm calling these the ultra passes. So we will give away one ultra pass, which means you're going to get two free cards from me out of my collection. And we're going to do it on a live stream. I'm going to throw some autos in there, try to get some cool cards in there. And we're going to give away a bunch of cards. And so I'm going to give away a few of these ultra passes before we do the live stream. So again, just drop a comment in the video, comments down here, ultra, and you will be entered to win a couple of completely free cards. So good luck on that. And thank you for tuning in. We'll just very, very quickly go over what we got one more time. we got an Ellie De La Cruz chrome first. And that one looks like it's in pretty good shape overall. A little tough to tell on condition. You generally want to pull your cards out of the top loaders uh, or don't put them in first when you're judging condition. But that's a pretty good looking one. Uh, Robert Dominguez, number to 125. That's a paper first, a little thick on the bottom, but, you know, a nice little um, paper first there. And this design is a little weird compared to some of the other paper parallels. That sort of spotty blue and white going on there is supposed to it's part of the design first time i saw it i was not aware of that and it kind of threw me off but that's how that design is supposed to look and we got two base wanders the uh flagship tops wander and the bowman rookie card as well so again drop in the comment below the word ultra to have a chance to win an ultra pass i'll do the drawing on that in the next video and probably give away another one in the next video as well and uh, best of luck on that. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe and we'll do some more. Thanks so much, everyone.